Joaquin Cole Productions presents Mips Numbers to Improper Fractions and back. Okay, everybody, you got two and one fourth right here, and we have three and two thirds here. We would like to turn these into improper fractions, and here's how you do it. First thing we do is we want to keep the bottom number the same. So in both of these, before we even do anything, just go ahead and put the bottom number. Now we want to talk about the top number. The quick way to do it is to multiply 2 times 4 and then add 1. 2 times 4 and then we're just going to add 1. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Over here, again, 3 times 3 and we're going to add 1. Okay, Add 2 this time. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. We might even call that the C move or a backward C move or some type of move here. 2 times 4 plus 1, 3 times 3 plus 2. So 2 and 1 fourth is equivalent to 9 fourths and 3 and 2 thirds is equivalent to 11 thirds. Let's go backwards here. Let's go improper fraction to mixed number. Again, what's the first thing we're going to do? Realize that the bottom number is always going to stay the same. We do know a whole number is going to go here and a fraction is going to go here. This is the remainder. So let's talk about this. Here's the question you ask yourself. How many times does this number go into this number? So how many times does 5 go into 9? The answer is once. And how many are left over? If it goes in one time, that means there's 4 left over. 1 and 4 fifths. Let's go over here. How many times does 3 go into 10? goes in three times with one left over. Now, in case I'm wrong, we can apply the same move we did up here and see if we're right. One times five is five plus four is nine fifths. Over here, three times three is nine plus one is ten thirds. So we can go backwards and forwards all day long. Thanks for watching.